Hi, how you doing? Justin here with another quick tip for you. And uh, this one's pretty mighty weird, but very, very useful. Um, I was just reminded of it by my friend Perry, who plays in a band called Pendulum. Uh, he put on Twitter that he'd just been using this technique in the studio, and I have to share it with you because it is just really, really weird. So um, there's a few times where this technique becomes useful. And that is, it's usually to do with string noise, when you've got strings ringing out that you don't want ringing out. And it is the sock neck mute. So what you need, first of all, is a sock. So, uh, you know, have your shoe off and uh, get yourself a sock. You probably want a fairly thick kind of a sport sock, not like a really thin kind of sooty sort of a sock. Mm, this one smells particularly good, although having a nice smelling sock is not uh, requisite. Um, now, what you're going to do is you're going to tie the sock around the neck of your guitar, just in a really loose kind of single like loop around the back there. Um, you want to tie it nice and loose. Okay, uh, if you tie it really tight, if I tie my neck up, you end up getting notes. It's almost, it works a bit like a capo. So what you want is you want it to be nice and loose on there. And uh, the looseness, you'll find just straight away that uh, all of the notes are now dead. So that's really what you want. You're just going to tie it loosely around. Now, the times where this becomes really useful, uh, one is when you're playing with a lot of distortion. Now. Um, of course, it's something that you should adapt your technique to cover. So if you're, um, you know, if, if you're playing a lot of fast lead lines or whatever, you want to, you, you know, you need to develop your technique so that you're muting the strings all the time. But there are times where it's just so difficult to get all of that string muting done while you're playing the line that in a kind of a studio environment, it can be really useful just to get your sock off, tie it around the neck of the guitar, and the problem is solved. And then you can work on your technique later to fix it up, is what I'd kind of recommend. But there are other times where you kind of really need it. And uh, it's so useful, in fact, that there are you can actually buy a, a kind of a neck mute that kind of attaches on the headstock and folds down that touches the strings down here with just the right amount of pressure. Um, I've never used one kind of enough for that to be a, a valuable addition to any of my guitars. And uh, But if you're into this sort of stuff, or, or into particularly two-handed tapping. so. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen that sort of stuff before where you play, um, you, you kind of hammer the notes with both hands where you're actually playing. Now, without the sock mute, when you play a note like that, there's actually a note behind. There's a note being played behind where you're tapping as well as the one in front. Now, the one this side is getting picked up more by the pickups, but the other one is still there. I don't know how clearly you can hear that, but if I mute, you can hear it's a lot clearer sound than I mean there's a little bit of delay on that sound anyway right now but the, using the sock mute and I think I first read about it in, in a Joe Satriani interview years ago probably in the late 90s uh, he was talking about a couple of songs he does called Midnight Day at the Beach and those kind of two-handed things where you know if you're playing one of those tunes you've got to get the neck sock on you know the the, uh, the, the mute going on if you, those kind of lines, every note has to be clear and you just can't, it, it's next to impossible to be able to keep them all muted, especially if you've got all of that going on, how on earth are you going to keep a mute behind, you know, and that's, that style of guitar playing is where those kind of, you know, you get those special uh, mechanical devices that press down on the strings, but, you know, you definitely want to get into it for that. Another time that you, you really need the, um, uh, or it can be useful, you don't need it, is again with slide guitar. Now, with slide guitar, I know I haven't done many lessons on slide, I, I will get around to doing some, but when you play a note or with a slide, a slide is like a movable fret, right? Now, you have to be muting all of the strings that aren't being played, but as soon as you put the slide down, you've got a note behind and a note in front. So, it, as I move the slide this way, listen. You can hear these other notes ringing out. So usually when you're playing slide guitar, you rest the two fingers just behind the slide. And that will actually mute those sounds from behind. But again, sometimes that becomes really awkward, you know, and it can be just easier to get the old sock out, tie it around loosely, and now you don't have to worry about doing it. You're just going to get the pure kind of sound from the slide forward like the proper the true sound of what you're after with the slide so uh, there's three examples there's probably a lot more other uses for the old uh, uh, sock neck mute uh, but uh, definitely for those 
three examples, like using loads again when you haven't got your technique down properly, definitely with two-handed tapping, if you're going to get into two-handed tapping. And uh, yes, I will do lessons for uh, Midnight and Day at the Beach because I love playing those uh, those two tunes. I'm not really a kind of much of a tappy kind of a guy, but you know, Satri uh, Joe Satriani is so musical and his compositions are great. So uh, I, I have full intention of doing that one. I just got to sort out the tab because it's really difficult to learn that song without a tab. Um, so, uh, you know, the, for that, any of that two-handed stuff, you definitely need it. And, and it can be useful for slide. Nearly always, you know, the, the using your fingers behind the slide is, is going to be enough for, for slide guitar. But there have been occasions where, uh, you know, maybe I've been playing acoustic guitar and my technique just hasn't been good enough and I've uh, had to resort to the old uh, sock to, uh, you know, tidy up my technique a little bit. Uh, shouldn't really be admitting things like that. But anyway, um, I hope you find that useful and, uh, you know, Go and ex you know get your sock off and explore this idea because it does open up a few uh, interesting avenues that might not have been available before. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I did warn you it was going to be a weird one. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you for plenty more songs and lessons and whatever stuff you know those things that I do sometimes uh, soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. <laughs>